What's up guys, Phoenix here. This video is going to be another Dev Pro Duel video in Ranked, and this time I'm going to be playing with the Blue Eyes deck. No Hieratics, just straight Blue Eyes. The only Felgrand related card in here is Return of the Dragon Lords, stuff like that. This deck specifically, this list was piloted to a top 16 finish at the ARG in Orlando this past weekend. I cannot remember the person's name off the top of my head that uh, piloted this deck to this finishing spot, so my apologies to whoever it was that actually did well with the deck, but this is literally the only Blue Eyes deck that topped uh, the ARG in Orlando this past weekend. So, And uh, it's honestly just an incredibly boring looking deck list. It's very bland, it's very plain, but then again the deck can afford to be because the plays that you make are so inherently just like simple and yet powerful and effective. So you don't really need a lot of those cards like the Hieratics and stuff to like be additional play extenders even though you can play them. I feel like there is potential for that sort of deck in the future, possibly, if the right build is found. But ultimately, uh, the deck itself just seems to function better right now, just in its purest form, because the plays are very simple, very highly impactful. Everything you do is of resource management, like, based, and, like, just impact based. Like, everything is just incredibly suited towards just being very, very pinpointingly aggressive, and very good at doing so. So, there is that, but... Ultimately, I don't know what else I can really say about this deck other than this, just like your bog standard blue eyes deck. Like it's literally the most simple and plain list I've ever seen for this uh, for the blue eyes deck. Like it doesn't even play like things like Felgrand for the spicy tech. It doesn't play Arc Brave or Goliath. It doesn't play any of those like niche little nifty things that are actually like really cool in the deck, in my opinion. Um, and maybe that's something that I might change in my own build in the future. Who knows? But other than that, there's nothing else really more that I want to say about this. Let's just jump into the game that I play, all right? All right, Duelist, let's go frolicking. Let's see what we can do with this uh, with this Blue Eyes deck. Amazing. I get to go first. If I can set up Spirit Dragon, then that's great. All right, we can potentially do something like that. Uh, we can utilize this to send a Dragon Spirit of White and then send the White Stone of Legend and then that will add Blue Eyes, which I can then trade in a way which can potentially draw me some cards that will actually work. Uh, because as it stands right now, no cards that work. These are cards that work. Oh, okay, so the thing is here, do I want to possibly have to commit my normal summon to Valor, or do I want to not draw cards and normal summon this instead? You know what? I'm kind of okay with possibly having to commit my normal summon to Valor. Ah, that's actually really good. Um, that's actually really good, um, because I can summon this. I could save the Gospel, but I actually don't want to save the Gospel. Uh, if that makes any sort of sense, because the gospel being engraved is actually a huge resource, I'd actually rather save this. Um, but what I could do is I can make first turn Dark Matter, but that doesn't really help. I can make Hope Harbinger, which can be protected by gospel, uh, which also bags up Chaos Trap Hole, or I could make Spirit Dragon and back it up with Chaos Trap Hole. You know what? I'm just going to make Spirit. Spirit seems like the uh, the highest priority here over, uh, over what we can do. The... Uh, Ancient Whitestone Engrave is going to replace itself with another card. So we're going to summon this, and then the Gospel protects it, so I don't have to worry about, like, clutch-ass Raigekis or Dark Holes before I turn this into a Zura Eyes and protect itself. So there is that. So I just one for one to my way into, uh, into this play, and I've got two Blue Eyes out of the deck already, so I'm just going to summon this, because this way, if this gets targeted by something, I could possibly tag it into this blue eyes, even though I really don't want to, but uh, but at the very least, I'm able to turn this into a Zer eyes at a moment's notice, and then on my next standby phase, that is able to bring back the white spirit dragon that is in the graveyard, and that is able to, uh, that is able to vanish back row and start dealing with things. Chaos Trap Hole... Uh, depending on whatever matchup this is, is going to be incredibly relevant or not at all. It's a very, very much hit or miss card. Uh, <laughs> very hit or miss indeed. But, so let's see what he's playing. I keep finding myself in that situation where I just have to, like, where I just end up having to normal summon Valor. And that kind of really irritates me. Okay, so one for one discard Mally. I'm able to negate the malicious effect with Blue Eyes Spirit Dragon, so there's definitely that. Um, and then I'm able to Chaos Trap Hole, like, if he commits to a Synchro, potentially. Most of these decks typically do Synchro Summoning. Um, if he makes a Beatrice on me, then that's going to be a problem, because that means it'll float. Or, I could just wait. And, uh, I could just wait and do that. But it looks like he's trying to cheese me out with a Black Rose. 
Um, and even if that was the case, one, I'm not going to let it happen because I get to negate the malicious. Uh, two, I have Gospel Revival Engrave. And three, I could just turn this Spirit Dragon into a Zerize at any point in time that I choose. And doing so would allow me to do some other choice thingos. Um, ooh. Okay, so this is just Resonators? Is this Resonator Synchro? Is that what this is? Okay, so we're summoning a level leader. Uh, neat. So these can go into formula, which would be really cool, but I have Chaos Trap Hole, and I would 100% Chaos Trap Hole a formula, because at this point I can negate his Mally, and he's already committed his normal summon, so unless he has something like Instant Fusion or Soul Charge, I think I'm in a very, very good position, uh, because, um, like, the Malicious is going to get negated. Even though it banishes itself as cost, it did activate Engrave, thus meaning that the uh, Spirit Dragon gets to negate it, and then this is just chilling here. This Red Resonator is just out here all by its lonesome, and like I said, the only other cards that he could utilize are cards like Instant Fusion, Brilliant Fusion, or Soul Charge. And if he had Brilliant Fusion, he would have already activated it, because it would have allowed him to get an additional Normal Summon early, rather than later, and actually sculpt his plays. So there's multiple different things. Ah, oh, he has the Soul Charge! Well, good thing he can only summon one monster. <laughs> Uh, um, let's see. So, I can allow that to happen because it doesn't necessarily matter. Uh, like, he gets to summon one because of Spirit Dragon. Uh, Spirit Dragon lets neither player summon two or more monsters at the same time. So, it lets him summon one card off Soul Charge instead of all of them. So, there is that. Winning. Choice, choice interactions here from the Duelist. But, uh, so, he gets the level leader here onto the Mally, and I'm not gonna negate that, because then he could just do it again. That's stupid. Why would, why would I, would I, why would I negate these things? Why would you expect me to do these things? So, um, the Mally is five, so he's gonna, what, Black Rose me? If he Black Roses me, I'm just going to Gospel of Revival. Um, or excuse me, Return of the Dragon Lords. I wish this card was still called Gospel of Revival, but it is instead called Return of the Dargan Lords. Um, I feel like Gospel of Revival is a much more just like inherently better name. Okay, cool. Black Rose me. Yeah. Yeah, do it. Do it, man. Banish this card instead. Yeah. Black Rose for no value. <laughs> wow. Wow, he really left. Okay, we're going in again. Jesus Christ, I thought Dev Pro had a bedtime. Like, <laughs> come on now. I expected to be playing against nothing but meta when I'm playing at like 11.30 at night. Uh, okay. Alright, so the situation here is that I get to make... This is bullshit. Um, I get to make Hope Harbinger with Chaos Trap Hole. Not really ideal, not really what I was looking for. Um, that kinda sucks. But, I can do this and then I can send um, I can send the White Stone of Legend to get a blue eyes to my hand, which allows the alternative to be summonable. Um, and this Silver's Cry gets to be usable. Oh, uh, I really don't actually want to make that first turn play. Uh, but if I set both of these, I'm just going to get raped by Twin Twister. Ah, <laughs> uh, so agitating. Alright, so I'm just going to summon this alternative dragon, and I'm going to Silver's Cry for the, uh... For the thing back. For this back. Uh, and I'm just gonna make Hope Harbinger. Or do I just make... I can make Hope Harbinger or I can make... Uh, I can make Dark Matter, but Dark Matter kinda sucks. Specifically in this build, because like you can only send... The only real card you send to get value off of it is, uh, is uh, White Stone of Ancients. So yeah, I'm just gonna make Hope Harbinger. I'm still open to top decking a lot of really good cards in the form of... Uh, in the form of my Sage my my other tuners a trade in would be really good return of the dragon lords would be pretty cool pretty good there's a lot of different things am i playing the same person i am playing the same person yo <laughs> what's well, good ewan all right apparently bedtime is not now all right so he's going to be able to make just something here he just he's playing synchron resonators um okay jet synchron what does this do Oh, this returns the Hope Harbinger to my extra deck. That's not... That's not cool. Um, 
and then it special summons itself back from the graveyard, but it only bounces when it's synchro summoned. That is something key uh, to look at. But I'm able to Chaos Trap hole something. Uh, so if he goes for like some wombo combo like Quasar play, I'm just able to Chaos Trap hole it. <laughs> so um, there is that. And I think I'm gonna like hold myself to that one. Uh, but he can still just beat me outright because of the fact that like my hand sucks. Uh, I literally need to draw like trade in Return of the Dragon Lords. Soul Charge would be really good. I just need I need a play extender. That's what I need. I need either draw power or play extender. And luckily, a lot of my deck is those cards. But in the case of uh, in the case of it not being that, oh, Doppel Warrior, what an awesome mill! If you have like Junk Synchron or something to like uh, to like capitalize on that on, then that's gonna be really bad for me. Uh, but, okay, so he's going with these two. He's going to go into his formula. Um, do I care about the formula happening? This is going to... This is already used itself. Um, I feel like I have to Chaos Trap Hole because he's going to get way too many cards if I, uh, if I let these things happen. I feel like I have to do something about that. Because uh, this is still on the board. I feel like I have to... You know what? I'm not okay. I'm okay with, I'm okay with that going through. That one's fine, because he's not replacing a card, so I'm okay with that. So he can send Jet Synchron, and then he's going to discard a card, get the Jet Synchron back, and then he's going to make Formula, and in that area, depending on whether or not he raises or lowers this Excel Synchron, uh, is going to really heavily influence on what I do, because if he lowers it, I think I 100% guaranteed Chaos Trap Hole the uh, Formula, because in that instance, that's level four he can't do anything with it but if he makes it level six then that makes it a little bit harder on me in the essence of okay so we reduce it to four okay so I think I'm guaranteed going to uh, going to chaos trap hold the formula if it comes down to a formula sum, uh, a formula being summoned because that takes a card out of his hand um, like that takes a card out of his hand it takes the level leader off the board but now he's Mally that complicates it because now he can just banish Mali. He can banish his Mali. He can summon the Mali. He can lower it to five, and then uh, he'll be able to make Level Leader come out again. I don't know. This is hard. This is not something that I want to deal with right now. Uh, this is a lot of really complex play lines that I have to try and think of before he thinks of them. And I don't even know what the last two cards in his hand are. And he still has a normal summoned. So this is so hard for me. <laughs> this is so hard for me to think. Um, okay, so, let's see here. If he makes formula, I kind of think I cast Trap Hole it. Because at the point that he makes the formula, he'll be drawing a card, he'll be doing some things. Let's see, do I want to let that go? Let's see, what's the worst that can happen? He can banish Mally, summon it, get another card, do all that. You know what, I'm, fuck it. I'm just going to Chaos Trap Hole it here because this is a card that replaces a card. It took a lot of cards out of his hand to make that. So I'm kind of okay with that happening. I probably should have Chaos Trap hold the Excel Synchron itself, but um, like he didn't have a no he hadn't normal summoned yet, and like that was scaring the shit out of me. But in hindsight, it was probably better for me to Chaos Trap hold the uh, Excel Synchron because in that case, he would have just had Level Leader left on the board. Uh, he would have had Level Leader left on the board. He would have had the Malian Hand plus whatever these two cards are. He wouldn't have had Jet Synchron access. Uh, so depending on what like the rest of his things are awesome. Oh, he's not doing any different plays This sucks though. I just drew another vanilla. I just drew the last blue eyes in my deck. Is that the last blue eyes in my deck? That's not the last blue eyes in my deck. Never mind Okay, so the issue here now is that like I just lose <laughs> I just lose out of principle because this this deck plays a lot of vanilla cards Like this is a vanilla. This is a vanilla. This is a vanilla. Uh, um, this is literally a vanilla. It's card effect is this card is treated as a normal monster while in the hand or the graveyard. It's an effect monster that says it has no effect. <laughs> All right. Uh, so I'm pretty much just going to lose this one out of principle because I don't have anything in my grave that I can utilize. Um, I don't have anything in grave I can utilize. I have nothing in my hand that I can utilize. So that's a problem. But, uh, so this guy should have some cool plays. He's sending that. So he's going to make this thing go up by a few levels, I guess. I don't know. If I'm not dead, then I could potentially just have a lot of different plays. He can level lead. Is he literally just going to make like a rank 6? Like a Beatrice? 
That's going to be weird. Um, <laughs> weird, to say the least. Oh, Doppel Warrior. Okay, this game is effectively over then. Um, like, show me the Doppel. Like, we're done here. Um, wait a second. They just, I guess he just drew that? Because he could have used that last turn with the Jet Synchron. So I'm assuming he just drew the Doppel Warrior. But, um, I could be wrong. I'm still just, I'm still curious as to why he didn't extend his play last turn when he had the Mali Engrave. Because he could have Malicious, banished some of the other Malicious, level 8 off the Malicious, and then he could have, uh, he could have utilized Excel Synchron to at least go into something. Uh, it wouldn't have been ideal, but it, you know, could have been done. Okay, he's trishing me. I don't think that's really that optimal at all particularly, but hey, man, whatever. Whatever floats your boat. Whatever gets your gander, whatever whatever cooks your goose. Um, the thing I need to figure out, what did he ban is he banishing Chaos Trap Hole? What is he oh, he banished the uh, Alternative Dragon. I see. Yeah, just those. Okay, so he's gonna hit me for for 30, what is this, 35? Yeah, this is 35. So he's gonna hit me for 35, which is gonna put me at 25, which means I'm still open to drawing Soul Charge. Um, or not. He's just doing this. Summon a Mally. Hit me for more. Come on, man. Do it. Alright. Okay. Some of that. So what are you going to make? Drill Warrior? Is that... Oh. There's there's a few level 6s now. There's Drill Warrior. There's a... Uh, there's... Junk Gardener. Oh, wow. What are you making now? Oh, Road Warrior. Okay. I forgot that he had the Double Warrior tokens there. I forget that those cards have levels. This is ridiculous. Um, it's way too late at night for me to be thinking of these. This can summon that, yes. I remember this interaction. And so, he hasn't normal summoned yet, which means that he's able to go into Malicious here, synchro with these. This can search... Uh, this can search for, uh, for a Junk Synchron, which he can then normal summon. So I am 100% dead here. Uh, without a shadow of a doubt, we are 100% dead. Bricking, bricking central, and he gets to draw. He gets to draw a card and search junk synchron. So like, yeah, he hasn't normal summoned yet, and that that means that this is a game. Like this is a game right here. If he had just put this in attack mode, this was game. Uh, but he's actually just going further. But anyway, yeah, um, I needed to draw a play extender in order to do something on my previous turn, and not just absolutely draw. A card that literally cannot be played <laughs> and that's what I did so uh, whatever I mean it happens you play these sorts of decks and that's what happens are you gonna banish for Cypher Lord Omega um, well I was about to say something really cheeky and then realized that he again like I've already addressed hasn't normal summoned yet uh, because the Excel Synchron was already pre-establishing on the board which gave him a lot of option for what he was able to do uh, so yeah, this is 100% game, and I'm just, I'm not going to, like, waste any more time. I'm just going to hit the surrender button and go into the outro. So yeah, I'm going to play with this deck some more, uh, simply because it is a very simple Blue Eyes deck. It's very simple, it's very, what I would consider to be probably standard. Um, but it is 100% very, very simple. Uh, it's, <laughs> the person that played this deck at the ARG, his decklist name was Boring Blue Eyes. <laughs> it literally wrote it on the decklist. Um, and it is honestly one of the most boring deck lists I have ever seen, as I've already addressed. But, um, I mean, it gets the job done when you don't brick, and that's the thing. Is like, it's very simple-minded, but it's very simple-minded because it can afford to be simple-minded. Because the plays that you make are very, very impactful while also being very simple. So there is that. But anyway, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe to all the nonsense you usually do. Links in the description of my Facebook pages. If you want to check this out, definitely go for it. That's what they're there for. If you want to support me, clicking ads on my videos is the best way to do so. The best way to show your support. Helps me out a ton. I cannot express how much it would be appreciated. If you have an ad block enabled, if you could take a few seconds out of your day to disable the ad block, refresh the video, click an ad or two, and then put the ad block back on when you're done, it helps me out a literal ton. I cannot express how much it helps me out, and you would have my eternal gratitude. It takes seconds out of your day, takes no money out of your pocket, and it just helps me out so, so very much. And as I've already said, it's a great way to show your support. So if that's what you're interested in, then go for it. But other than that, like I've already said, I'm going to be playing with this deck again uh, simply because, you know, I'm going to try and film a few more games to, you know, just not lose to bricking. So there's that, even though this video did have two games in it and one game was just an outright win and the other game was kind of like not. Um, the biggest issue I have with this deck is, like, that you can just draw, like, not tuner-filled hands. And the tuners are actually what allow your game plan to 
be progressive a lot more than the other monsters are because it allows you to go into Silver Dragon, Azure Eyes, and stuff like that and allow you to start recurring your resources for free and actually, you know, progress your game state. And that is an issue that I've been seeing with the deck so far that I've been playtesting with it. Uh, but other than that, who knows if that's uh, fixable. Um, but I'm just going to keep playing with the list as it is simply because that's how it's presented and, you know, want to test results. So other than that, that's enough babbling from me. That's it for this video, as I've already said. And as always, guys, take care.